definitely game one is a struggle. Uh, we, you know, uh, all the, the bug decks, you know, not the super beat down force of will decks, but the more controlling ones. Mm -hmm. I think their game ones are a little bit rough because they just don't have a ton of disruption. They have, you know, some number of force of will, some number of spell pierces, a couple discard spells. Uh, but in the post board games, you can be a lot more surgical. You can cut your creature removal, your inefficient answers, and become uh, much more streamlined. Update everybody at home on the board. Again, Tendrum up a game here. He's playing at Nauseam Tendrils on Nolan's side. He's got a Jace that's on three. He's got a Snapcaster Mage. He's got a couple of lands out there. Not sure about the cards or uh, how many or the contents in his hand. But right now we've got a Cabal Therapy that is on the stack here from Tendrum. Aim Surgical Extraction. So by the looks of things right now, uh, Lauren's shields are down. He can't cast that Force of Will. The Stoneforge Mystic in his hand, of course, offers him no help. And uh, we'll see if we're we're coming into the middle of, of Tenjim uh, going off and taking the match. It looks like it's time to put the car in drive. Mm -hmm. See, all the makings of a, of a, of a combo here. Yeah. A pedal and a ritual and a Lion's Eye Diamond. I've seen these pieces before. Yeah. But I like this. Uh, I like this song and dance. Oh, I do. It's one of my favorite tunes. I always enjoy the fireworks. There's your dark rip. And I believe we have all the makings of a past in flame kill here. I'm not sure if Tenjim uh, potentially is short on mana, but there's your lion's eye diamond. So Storm is going to tick up. He's got a. He take a look at his graveyard. I think uh, even even you know he has the red mana from lion's eye diamond, but even uh even the the Volcanic Island, excuse me, makes it so that he's probably good to go. He's going to use one for the Trap Cloud and one for the Black Mana Floating. There's your Infernal Tutor. That's going to be placed on the stack. That's spell number seven. Although he doesn't actually have much in the way of spells in his graveyard, so it's possible he needs to go off through Ad Nauseam right yeah. now. He just has a Dark Ritual, a Brainstorm, and some discard spells. So. so he's got five black. Infernal Tutor is on the stack. Hellbent, of course, so he needs to count it up, and if, assuming that life total is correct for Nolan, 17. He needs one more spell for Tendrils to be lethal. He does not have that spell right now. How much mana does he have floating? He's got five black floating. So can so he go theory, tutor for tutor? He can, if that's actually the, the stealer we're at, uh, then yeah, he could tutor for and tutor. Tutor for tutor, rather. And then uh, tutor for uh, tendrils. Uh, for tendrils and kill him, yeah. Assuming our count here is correct. Yep. Well, his die... I mean, he's got it at seven up there, so assuming that his count is correct, yeah, he he can go infernal. He can go for infernal for he can go infernal for infernal for, uh, uh yeah, for tendrils and kill him, and that's exactly yeah. what he's going to do. So he's going to cast infernal. He's going to remove two mana. So he's got three floating. Storm's going to go up to eight. Okay, now, what is hiding out in Nolan's hand again? I believe it is just Stoneforge, Mystic, okay. and Force of Will. I remember there was a white card. I was really Could hoping plow. It was, I was hoping it wasn't Plow, and this would be an absolute disaster. There's a Tendrils, mm -hmm. and there's an extension of the hand. So Andrew Tendrum is going to win this match over Lauren Nolan. Ad nauseum Tendrils is going to move on to 5-1. and one. Nolan going to pick up his 